CFA exam results are out and this time the passing percentage was 46%. Hello friends, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help students in excelling their career and also help students who prepare for the competitive exams like CFA, FRM and SCR. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about the confusion that is there in the minds of students that what should be their next step and how should they approach in the future. So I'm going to be talking about that in today's video and we're going to be talking from the perspective of both students who have cleared the exam and those students who could not clear the exam. For candidates who have cleared the CFA level 1 exam, congratulations to all of you, your efforts have paid off. Now the question that will come to your mind is when should I plan my CFA level 2? Should I go for immediately November exam? Should I go for May or should I go for the next August exam? Now the dates are like this. For November 2024 exam, the early bird deadlines were 8 Feb to 16th April which is already gone and the standard deadline ends at 7th August. Similarly, if I look at May 2024 exam, the early bird deadline is from 8th of August to 9th October and the standard deadline actually gets over on 6th of Feb. For August, right now the dates are not out. Now let us analyze this question. When should I give this CFA level 2 exam? Look at this in three different scenarios of candidates. The first one, students who are in their final year of graduation. The second one, there are graduates with no experience and no job right now. And third one, working professionals who have cleared the CFA level 1 exam. So we're going to be looking at all three of them. Let us look at the first situation. Students who are in their final years. As per the CFA Institute requirement, you have to be a graduate to appear for the CFA level 2 exam. So for those students, November is out of option. For May, they have to look at this. Whether I'm graduating before the May dates? If yes, then definitely I should go for the May exam. But suppose your graduation date is after May, for example, June, then there is no option. You have to go for the August exam. So start your preparation from now. Either it is August or either it is May exam because CFA level 2 is slightly challenging challenging as compared to CFA level 1. Since the time frame is quite huge from today to your exam date either May or August what you can do is either you can go for an internship one or two month internship will not make a big uh, harm in your preparation focus on that it will add a valuable experience into your kitty. Second you can try looking at some certification especially financial modeling Python Power BI all of these certifications are highly valued in real life in the corporate world so focus on those during that period of time which will also enhance your CV when you graduate and look for job. Second category of candidates are graduates with no job. Now you have cleared the CFA level 1 exam. Either you can go for the upcoming November attempt or you can go for the next May attempt. Now if you are planning for November attempt, it's roughly 4 months that is left for your preparation. Now if you are thinking about that, you have to think it in this way. Do I have any other commitment apart from studies for the next 4 months? Will I be able to dedicate proper time, proper effort for the next 4 months? And also the fees is going to be slightly higher because you are going to be registering in the standard deadline. So if all 3 of these you are comfortable with, then definitely you should focus on giving the exam in November. Again, CFA level 2 is way different than level 1. So you'll have to put more effort, more solving to clear the exam. So keep that also in mind. Now the next option that you have is May 2025 exam. Now if you're planning to go for that and since you have already graduated, my suggestion would be start a job. Okay, but if you're starting a job, keep the mindset that you'll continue your job even after your exam. Because a lot of students, what they do is that they feel that I'll work for 6-7 months and one, one month before the exam, I'll quit the job and I'll prepare properly for the exam. I think so that is a wrong approach. You should start your job and start your preparation from now so that it does not create much of a problem in your May 2025 exam. And also take a two week off before the exam and give your exam in the best shot. Third categories of student are working professionals. Now these working professionals would be with an experience range of around 3 to 7 years of time frame. Now these working professionals are generally not able to dedicate much time on a daily basis. They focus more on giving time on weekends. Now if you're planning to go for level 2 exam, my suggestion would be either go for next May or next August exam because you will need to build up again the same consistency the way you prepared for your CFA level 1 exam and focus on giving time each day for your preparation because CFA level to is one notch above CFA level 1. So it will require a lot of effort, a lot of dedication and again a lot of solving. Let us move to the next category of our discussion that is candidates who could not clear the CFA level 1 exam in this last attempt. So first step is to do not get disheartened. Do not make any judgment about your capabilities because it is very easy for you to compare yourself with somebody else who's already cleared the exam. My suggestion would be look at your result properly, analyze your performance. You must be getting this exam result. Focus and check how close 
you were as compared to the minimum passing score and look at individual books in terms of your performance how far you were from the minimum passing requirement and then do an analysis that which subject actually made you fail and go back and check your preparation time when you prepared for the exam at that point in time did you actually face that much amount of challenge in those books or not further look at the book again and see which chapter was actually tough for you or which chapter might have created problem for you during the exam you can also revisit the actual exam date and see if certain type of questions created problem for you and which actually led to your failure in very simple language do a thorough analysis of the result of the books where you have not scored well of the chapters which might have created problem if for example you are very close to the overall passing requirement then my dear friends it might be because of few questions which you have done wrong you have not been able to clear the exam so my suggestion would be prepare again properly give the next attempt if possible in november exam if the standard fee is not a concern for you go for november exam because you are already in the flow prepare properly for the next 4 months and then give the exam in the best shot if for example your score was far below than the minimum passing requirement then you have to understand that you will need more time to clear the exam so from today onwards dedicate allocated time say for example one or two hours every single day analyze your mistakes analyze which question went wrong which concept created problem for you and also try to make sure that if you're working or you're studying along with your full time commitment how you can stay consistent in your preparation then my suggestion would be to go for next may exam register in early bird give your best shot and along with that you can also try some other certification which will keep you engaged other certification like python tableau alteryx financial modeling all of these can also help you engage and help you in your preparation for your exam now when you are looking at this uh, preparation for the next may have patience don't try to complete everything fast because the exam is far away you have to consistently prepare and have a study plan which will make sure that you complete everything by say feb or maximum by march then you have sufficient amount of time to do your mocks do your final revision and look at each book properly i hope you guys have found this video helpful do share this video with other friends who have been preparing for the exam and in the cfa journey for more such amazing content subscribe to our channel